So Minecraft has just released the new 1.20 Tales and Trails update. Loads of new features have been added to expand Minecraft's lore and the overall gameplay. From awesome new mobs to beautiful cherry biomes and mysterious remains, let's explore the new update together. So the update came out like a few hours ago and I just really wanted to play, so yeah. Let's go for it. I'm gonna keep an eye out for a cherry blossom biome because I really want to build my house there. So I guess that might be one, so we'll have a look. But first, let's get some wood. Now I can craft myself a wooden pickaxe. I've got to say, I love starting a new Minecraft world. It's just so cozy, I don't know how to explain. So I might get a bit of stone. Like that I have all the essential tools. Okay, so we've got a cherry biome right here. I really love the little effect there. And I've got to say, these little flowers there, they just look perfect for the biome. It would be really nice having like, you know, little animals running around, like maybe a squirrel or something. I feel it would just look perfect. <laughs> I'm really sorry for what I'm going to do to you. Yeah, you as well. I'm really sorry. Don't walk away. <laughs> well, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, first night in 1.20, guys. I've got to say it's pretty cozy around here. Oh, and we've got a little skeleton here. There we go. Oh, guess what? I was saying it would be nice to have plenty of animals, but we've got loads of little brown rabbits. Oh, he really reminds me of my rabbit. <laughs> so it's time to go get a bit of iron. So I'm going to look if I can find maybe a cave somewhere. That should do it. I'm going to get a bit of coal as well. Oh, and you know what? I'm actually going to take some of this copper because I think you need copper to make a brush for excavating sniffer eggs. So of course that is something I'd like to do. Well, I think we've reached the end of the cave. <laughs> It wasn't very big. This looks more like a proper cave. So we've got five pieces of raw iron, so I can make myself a pickaxe as well as a shield. I wouldn't mind finding a spider so that I can make myself a bow, but in the worst case, I can just wait for the night time. So of course, you can't start a new Minecraft world without building a lovely dirt hut. So of course, I'm gonna build a much nicer house by the end of the episode, but yeah, I wanna start off with a dirt hut. Oh, I'm a bit silly. I could have just made my hut like straight into the hill. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. So I can hear a spider, so maybe I'm gonna have a quick look outside. Okay, so there we've got a spider. Come along. There's two spiders down there. I'm gonna try and lure them over. There, perfect. Okay, so now I can make myself a bow. And with my bow, I can kill creepers from a safe distance. Oh, and I have no arrows left. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's time to head back there. <laughs> so yeah, basically, here is the beautiful dirt hut. <laughs> you can clearly see all the effort and the details I put into it. So today we're going on the hunt for chickens because I really need to start getting some arrows. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't see there was some dirt. Oh my god. Yeah, excellent Minecraft player right here, guys. I think I might not leave that in the video. I guess we'll see. So I haven't spotted any chickens yet, but I will get the sugar cane. Well, there they are. Perfect. So this one will be George and the other one will be Lewis. Yes, I have two male chickens that lay eggs. It's perfectly logical. Come on guys, I don't want you to stay out in the rain. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little enclosure for George and Lewis and their many, many kids to come, of course. 
So I'm gonna leave George and Lewis with their kids. And I think I might go down caving again. Because for the moment, I only have a chest plate and I'd like to have the entire armor. I was thinking I'm actually going to start a mine because I'd like to get some diamonds. But if ever I find some caves, I will have a look for more iron. Yeah, right before going in the mines, I've noticed I do not have a lot of food. So I'm gonna go out and get some quickly. I think I'm gonna make a bucket with the remaining iron I have, like that I can start growing a few crops. Oh, and you know what? Let's bring back some cows as well. So now that I've got the cows, the crops, and some more food, I think it's finally time to go mining. There we have it, the full iron armor. Oh, I found diamonds already and I'm super far from level minus 57. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, you can show your support by subscribing and giving a big thumbs up. So now that we're at level minus 57, I'm just going to do a bit of strip mining to try and find diamonds. By the way, guys, tell me in the comments which of the two new mobs is your favorite? Honestly, I'm gonna get a few diamonds, some iron, and then we're off to find a sniffer egg. Oh, is that a spawner? Well, I guess we found a skeleton spawner. This is really practical. So there is a saddle, which will be perfect for when I find a camel. So I got a bit more than a stack of iron, which will come in very handy. I'm still gonna head back down to see if I can find maybe some diamonds. Oh, and right before that, I actually got two carrots from killing zombies. So I'm going to plant them as well as the melon seeds I found at the spawner. And by the way, I forgot to name the first two cows I got. So I chose Glenn and Maggie because I think that's a good couple's name. So I've just read that level minus 59 is actually better than minus 57. So I guess we have to go a little bit lower. Of course, I quickly got fed up of mining deep slate with an iron pickaxe, so I kept an ear open for nearby caves. We've got a zombie there in the subtitles, so he must be above me. There's quite a few zombies there. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, there has to be a spawner. This is just not possible. Okay, yes, <laughs> indeed, there is a spawner. Oh yes, we've got a diamond up here. Oh, well that's quite awesome. So I'm just gonna take these three and I'll come back later on for the diamond that is up here when I've got fortune. I crafted my very first diamond pickaxe and collected some obsidian for the enchanting table. I then went to look for some extra sugar cane and looted a sunken ship as well. I was therefore able to craft the enchanting table as well as a brand new item, the brush. At that point, I decided to set out on an adventure in the hopes of finding a warm ocean to get sniffer eggs. Sadly, I didn't find one, but I came across a pillager outpost with two alleys that I befriended and I also found some dark oak and spruce trees and collected the saplings for building my starter house. I stole a few cauldrons and some hay from a village because I wanted to make proper enclosures for my animals. I still needed to get loads of leather and sugarcane for making bookshelves, so I decided I would explore my world at the same time. So of course, I'm really sorry in advance to all the cows that are gonna have to go. Well, that was a bit rough. So we've got another village, so hopefully they have potatoes because potatoes are very important for an Irish girl. We finally have our very first potato. Yeah, this is really a big moment <laughs> in the Let's Play. I'm going to give back a few of the beetroot seeds because yeah, the villagers need to eat as well. So there is a jungle straight ahead. So I guess we're gonna be able to see what the new bamboo wood looks like. Nice. 
Right behind the jungle, there was a lukewarm ocean, so I had a look for some ruins. So I've got to be careful because there are some around guarding them. Oh my god, I'm out of here. There's actually three trident guys. So now I have to find suspicious sand. So I think that is it. So now we can brush it. Hay is not <laughs> what I wanted. Oh my god, a sniffer egg. We're gonna get a sniffer, guys. Oh my god, a second sniffer egg. <gasps> I'm so happy. So sniffer eggs actually hatch much quicker when they're put on a moss block. So as there are some azalea trees around here, I will get a little bit of moss. So yeah, now that we have everything, let's head back. While we're waiting for the sniffer eggs to hatch, I was thinking it's time to build a proper starter house. So I'm gonna start off by chopping down some of the cherry trees in the way. And now I'm going to shape down a few layers of dirt. The sniffers have hatched, oh my god. They are so adorable. So I don't want anything to happen to them, so I'm gonna put them in like a small enclosure, but it's gonna be temporary. So I've gone through at least six shovels, but here is the result. The sniffer has grown up, so he's pretty big now. So guys, I would like you to find a name for both sniffers. As for the alleys, I'm gonna name one Jesse and the other Walter. So for the walls of my starter house, I will be needing some wool, some birch logs, and some diorite. I still was missing a bit of wool, so I made a sheep farm, and I also decided to make a sugarcane farm like that I could get to enchanting pretty soon. So here I'm making a staircase connecting the future starter house to the dirt hut because that is where my mine is. Look at that, the sniffer is actually digging up some seeds. I then decided to craft the new 1.20 bookshelves as well as the pots. And to be fair, they are both a great addition to the game. With the help of my alleys, I collected some sugarcane and then I was able to make some bookshelves for enchanting. Oh my god, guys, I've got Fortune 3 as my very first enchantment. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a full diamond armor in the very first episode because the pickaxe is awesome. I went back down to the cave to get the diamond I had found and then I had a look around. So I spotted the start of a mine shaft. I also found a geode, but other than that, I couldn't find any more diamonds. So I went back strip mining. I managed to find a vein of diamonds, so I made a diamond axe that I enchanted, and I also used the slime I got to make leads, and I brought up the two sniffers. I wanted to make my house mainly out of dark oak and cherry wood, so I sailed back to the dark oak forest to get loads of wood, and I've got to say the alleys are really helpful for getting, you know, all the saplings or the logs I might have forgotten. I now have a fair few stacks of dark oak logs, so let's get building that starter house. So we're gonna start off with a large square base, and I'm going to use some dark oak to make pillars all around. For the stone walls, I'm actually going to use a mix between cobblestone, stone bricks, maybe I'll add a bit of andesite and tuff, and this will just give more texture. Now I'm going to fill the entire floor with spruce slabs. To add a bit of extra lighting and detail, I'm going to add windows all around. And then using some stairs and some trap doors, we can create these really nice little arches. I would really recommend you guys building your starter house on top of a simple base like that because it gives you so much extra space. So now for the actual shape of the house, we're gonna have a main rectangle and then a little square for the entrance. 
For the walls, as I had mentioned previously, I'm going to use a mix of diorite, wool and birch. So instead of having, you know, the house all white, for example, we've got a little bit of texture. So now it's time to move on to the roof. So for the outer rim, I'm going to use some dark oak and I'm going to make the roof quite high and pointy and at the very top I'm going to add a wall, a fence and an iron bar. This will actually extend the roof even more and I think it looks quite nice. Finally we can fill everything up using some cherry planks. So now that the roof is done, I'm going to fill in the rest of the walls. So yeah, this is what the house looks like for the moment. I think it's a pretty good size for a starter house. You know, I didn't want to make something too big either. And anyway, we have, you know, that base for the house, which will just add plenty of space. For adding a few more details, I was thinking I could put, you know, some flower pots on all the sides, you know, right underneath the windows. As for the roof, I'm going to add a few slabs like this because it will kind of give, you know, different shapes, different levels. And I could also add, you know, a few cherry leaves. It would give a few different color tones. Finally, the exterior is done, so let's move to the inside. So to get from the bottom level to the top, I'm going to build a nice staircase. The bedroom was quite simple, I just made a little table with a flower pot and then I added some carpets around the bed. Downstairs I made a little smelting area, you know, for cooking all my stuff. And I also added some shelves with barrels for storage and a few extra decorations. Finally, all I needed to do was arrange the basement. So I have been working for a few hours on the house. So first of all, we've got the downstairs area over here with some crops. And right here, we've got the start of the storage area. And I use some item frames to make it easier to sort out everything. So next, we've got the entrance. So I've used the new pots um, and the new flowers from the 1.20 update and I hung up a nice little sign saying Tootsie's home. So this is what the interior looks like for the moment. So I made a little staircase going up and I've got my bed right here. With these torch flower seeds, I think I can actually breed these guys. Well, I guess I'm going to place down your egg so that you can both take care of it. Oh, and by the way, I need to present my new horse. So I've decided to name her Patches because she's got these really nice white patches everywhere. I'm actually not done with the starter house. I was thinking it could be nice to have a sort of watchtower at the very top. So for the tower, I'm going to be using the same tones as the house. So to build the tower, I need to find the center of the roof. Now I'm going to build a little circle around it. I'm going to build up and I'm going to leave a space on each side for the windows. So now that the first rim is done, we're actually going to work on the pointy roof that's going to go up in the sky. So yeah, here is the tower on the house. I thought it would be a good idea to have this tower. I feel it really adds something to the overall house. Why is there a sniffer? Oh no, oh my god, it's the baby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I got so confused. I'd like to actually find a camel and also go mining for extra diamonds. Right before I'm gonna do that, I want to make all my animals nice and comfortable, so I'm gonna make each a little enclosure. Let's start by building Patch's stables. So I gave her some wheat and some water and I also put some item frames with her saddle and her lead. Like that, she doesn't have to wear her saddle while she's in the enclosure. Next, let's move on to the sniffers. 
So yeah, let's get these big guys in. So now that we're done with the sniffers, let's move on to the llamas. As you can see, I built a small mountain in the enclosure, so now we can get the llamas in. So now we're gonna do a larger enclosure for the cows. And of course, now we can do an enclosure for all the chickens. Yeah, beware guys, I've got my army of chickens. <laughs> this is great, I was not recording there for over 30 minutes. Perfect. So I also sorted out the sheep. I decided to make an enclosure right next to the house. I thought it would be a good idea. It's time to upgrade my armor to diamonds. So I decided I'm basically going to mine in a straight line, non-stop, to prove that it's not that hard to find diamonds when you have the right techniques. There were some diamonds here, but then there was a bit of lava flowing, so I have to try and carefully mine it. So right here I have no choice to turn even though I've been going straight because there's some lava <laughs> and it's just going to be too complicated to clear. So yeah, from now on I'm going to go straight this way. We've got another diamond and as you can see we're still in the same corridor. My god, I was not paying attention. I almost lost all my diamonds. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, basically I didn't have any blocks here and I accidentally removed the diamonds from my inventory. Yeah, I am a bit silly sometimes, I have to admit. We're almost at a stack of diamonds and I hope I managed to prove my point because I've been mining in a straight line. I only turned twice because of lava. So your best bet is just having a diamond pickaxe with fortune 3 on it and efficiency 4 helps a bit as well. And you just mine straight and then a bit on each side and that should do the trick. I can promise you if you do exactly the same as I do, you're gonna find plenty of diamonds in no time. Now it's time to craft the diamond armor. And there we are guys, full diamond. I'm also going to make myself a full set of diamond tools. Oh, and we've got infinity for the bow, this is perfect. So guess what we're going to do now? We're going to find a camel. For that, I was thinking we could head back to the jungle because deserts often generate next to them. Oh dear. <laughs> Now that we're back at the jungle, we're gonna have a look around in the hopes of finding a desert shore. All I could find was this never-ending savanna biome, so I looted a ton of shipwrecks and treasure chests. But finally, after days and days of searching, I found a desert. Oh my god, guys, look what we have here. I cannot wait to see the camel. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, look at the ears. So this is our new pet camel. So of course you guys can give a name for the camel as well as the sniffers. How do we ride it? I expect I have to get onto his back. And my imaginary friend can sit behind me <laughs> if they want. 
<laughs> it looks really funny in first person. Oh, and actually, right before we go home, I'm going to take some dead bushes as well as some cacti for making the camel's enclosure. So guys, I was actually following the coordinates to get back home, so I'm taking a totally different way. And guess what? We found a mangrove. I'm really regretting going this way. Yeah, I'm actually better off just swimming. So finally, after all this time, we are back home with the camel. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> there you are. So yeah, I took his saddle off so that he can completely relax. I still want to make a nice enclosure for the camel. And there, oh my god. So the camel can walk over fences. Okay, well that is an issue. Yeah, I guess you'll have to stay on a lead for the moment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And actually, guess what? I really enjoyed recording this video. I don't know why, but playing this new update just reminded me of the first time I played Minecraft. I don't know if it was maybe the coziness of the cherry biome or just how awesome the two new mobs were. But yeah, it gave me a bit of nostalgia, so I guess that's pretty good. I hope I will see you in the next video. Love you.